Hi everybody and welcome to Penfinity. My name is Wesley Vanitu and in this quick tip I'm going to show you uh, some uh, 3D modeling tricks uh, uh, you can use on, on a daily basis. Today I'm going to talk about how I select stuff. So let me show you that. I'm going to subdivide this plane multiple times. So the first uh, selecting technique I use really often is the boundary loop. It's the really um, it's one of my secret weapon. So what is boundary loop? When you have multiple faces like this, it will allows you to select the outside of all the faces at the same time like this. So if you are, for example, select yeah. The, those faces and you do a boundary loop it will select the outside as you can see and it's located here and this is yeah this is one of my three secret weapon you can do really quick and and, uh, and precise stuff with it so uh, the other one is uh, the checker deselects so the checker deselect basically will uh, they select uh, one faces or edges or vertices like this so when you use it cre creatively you can really make crazy selection to to do stuff and I'm gonna show you that uh, uh, right after and the other one is um, oh, I don't remember the name of this one uh, I use it really often, but but I don't I don't remember the the exact name. So um, it is the shortest path. Yeah, it is the shortest path. So um, it will it will allows you to uh, create a, a selection a custom selection path like this, as you can see, and. Uh, what I love with with this ones, uh, it will allows you to go through through poles. For example, if I have, let me show you that. Okay, let me show you. No, this is not the right example to show you. I'm going to show you directly with the uh, with the geometry. So let me do that like this, like this. Okay. So for example, this loop I can really select it faster with a, a loop select because each vertices are uh, has four four edges, but with the five pole or um, or a three pole, for example, if I try to do a loop. Is gonna stop here because I don't have uh, the, the fourth one to continue. With the uh, uh, shortest path, it, it, um, you will be able to uh, to go against that. So I can select this one, go here and here. Oh, sorry, go here and here like this, and it will allows me to to do really quick selection like this. So, so this is uh, uh, why I use it, especially when I have to 3D model cars or stuff like that. When you have, for for some reason, uh, 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 some some five five pole, but you want to do uh, a, a loop select on, on a five pole, you will be able to do that with uh, with this type of selection. So um, and the uh, the other one is. Uh, when I want to select multiple edges with uh, this type of constraint, for example, I want to put an odd edge on this one and this one. To do that, uh, the first one is easy. I just have to select it, loop, and, and I create an odd edge and I'm done. But this one I have to select like this and like this. It's not that long, but, but you have uh, a better way to do it is to use the tool I showed you previously, the select boundary loop here. So what I did in this case, I, I do a ring like this and I switch to, to uh, vertex mode and I uh, do 
a boundary select like this and it will select these two edges separately even in in vertex mode and, and i want to emphasize that because when you select uh, if i select these four uh, ver uh, vertices for example it's going to select the face for me but the boundary the boundary loop even in uh, if you're in vertex mode it is going to treat it like an edge and that's that's a, a really smart way to uh, to select it and i will be able to just put out the edges like this without worrying about being in, uh, in in vertex mode so this is it for this one another one i want to show you is uh let me do a quick mesh Okay, let me do it like this. Okay, oh, it's not in the center. Let me redo this. Yeah. Okay, okay. And for example, I'm going to insert this a little bit like this. So, for example, if I want to, for whatever reason, something happen often to me, I want to move a part of, of a geometry, but um, with the constraint of an, another edges like for example i want to uh, bring that a little bit uh, a little down but i don't want to alter this uh, this angle here and i don't want to move these edges here either so what i uh, what i do i just select this edge subdivided so i will have two of them and i'm going to, i'm going to use this one to drag uh, those faces down so what i do select this one and select this edge and I'm go to the active element of the pivot points here. So I will be on, on the last selected and switch to normal. And with that, I will be able to drag this up or down. And as you can see, it will stay at the same angle. Like this. So this is a, another trick I, I use often on, on complex uh, 3D geometry. It allows me to make changes really, really quick and fast. So, and the last one I want to show you uh, is with the cylinder. So let me select this, like this. If I want to, uh, I'm going to show you how I uh, use checker deselect in this example. Uh, I want to close, close this one. You have a uh, different way to, uh, to close gap. It will depend of if you have a uh, layer to texture, to texture or not, or, uh, if you use a, a procedural technique to texture, you have to be uh, really careful about the way you're gonna make your gap otherwise you're gonna have this tall texture so I'm, I'm gonna show you a, a different way so the first way of course is to put an end on like this and you can just hard hedge like this so the second one I use is the grid fill like this Honestly, the grid fill, I, I use it not too much. I, I try to, to avoid it because most of the time it gives me weird results. But for a flat ob, um, object like this, uh, uh, you can use it. It's really quick and efficient. And uh, this one is, is pretty not uh, complicated to texture. So the other one is, uh, let me show you. I'm going to make an extrusion and escape it. So it's going to stay there, but at the same place. And I'm going to uh, flat. Oh, let me put it to 
bounding box here. And I'm gonna flat all the all, all the vertex together. And I'm gonna switch to vertex mode. The reason why is by switching to vertex mode, I will uh, it will allow me to select the the other vertices as you can see here, like this. And I will be able to remove double and then do a quick inset to scale it after like this and just remove this two one so this one is is really efficient and you have let me show you the last one and the last one will involve the checker deselect so let me show you that I'm going to do the same. I'm going to extrude and escape it. I'm going to switch to uh, vertex mode and I'm going to check her deselects as you can see like this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just remove them. And after that, select what's left and merge, merge them. Excuse me. I forgot to switch to ver vertex. I'm going to show you why and merge them at center. And the reason why I do it in vertex mode because the vertex is gonna stay active. And by staying active, I just have to regrow the selection and do an inset to have a, a support edge like this. So this is uh, an, another thing, it's uh, really, really important. Um, as I said in my previous video, think in advance of uh, what you're about to do because um, by using the uh, faces, edges, and, and vertices mode um, really, really efficiently, you can drastically speed up your 3D modeling workflow. So, so you have to, to think about it, uh, know your tools, and try to find um, creative way to combine them to do what, what you want to do. So once you know all that stuff, it becomes really quick to do stuff. For example, the last example is just this. Check a deselect, remove, se select this one, vertices, merge. You see, you can do stuff stuff really quick like this. And uh, by knowing that, it will allow you to, to 3D model really, really fast. So this is one for the, uh, for the selecting stuff. So as always, if you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me on Instagram at uh, pen underscore affinity and on my email info at penfinity.com. And on the next uh, uh, ninja one, I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know yet what, what subject I, I, I'm gonna talk about because I try to to make it um, really clear to understand. This is a, a part uh, who can be um, really complicated if you're a beginner with Blender. So I try to stay as as um, comprehensive as possible. So I I will uh, inform everybody on Instagram about the the next episode. So uh, in the meantime, if you have questions, don't hesitate. And uh, yeah, see you soon, everybody.